Good afternoon, friends. Happy Thursday. I always have to double check. My name is Ray with Dizzy Designer, and today it's snowing, so I thought we would do um, an insert for the trucks for snow. So give me a second here. I'm going to pull this off of here. The trucks are interchangeable. I use um, Velcro on my pieces, so I'm going to do the truck for or sorry, I'm gonna do the insert on a black truck or for the black truck. So let me tip you guys down. We'll go ahead and get started. We got a cute little 3D snowman that will fit <clears throat> up in this portion of the truck, let it snow. It's gonna go on the back and then we've got Frosty for our license plate. Um, let me grab my little palette here for my paint. How's everybody doing today? I'm gonna go ahead and get some black on here. Just gonna get some paints out. Hey Gail, hello Cynthia, hi Wanda. Hello, hello, how is everybody? I'm going to get some white because we're dealing with snow, so we're definitely gonna need some white, some black. Um, and then from there, maybe some blue to start with. Let's see what we got for blue. I'm gonna do a light blue, hi Tracy. And I think that's all we're gonna do to start. So let me get out my sponges. Hello, hello friends. Sorry, I just literally finished hanging stuff in the closet and ran out here. So I'm a little bit out of breath maybe. Hey, Diane. <clears throat> Let's start with these pieces and we'll leave our snowmen for last because that's the cutest part. So I'm going to do it on a black truck. So I want this background to be black um, to go just to make it look like it's part of the truck bed. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and do that first. It's going to be the first thing that I do, give it time to dry. And then if we have extra time today, I do have a second little project, just a cute little ornament that I have sitting on my desk that I want to paint for myself. So if we have time, I'll go ahead and paint that live with you guys too. Some of these uh, truck inserts go quick and some of them go a little bit slower, I think it just depends on how much detail we give them. So we will see how long it takes us. Hey, hello, Teresa, hello, Cynthia. I don't know why I'm blowing on it to dry it. All right, I'm gonna set that off to the side. We've got our little let it snow and I'm gonna actually do, I've got hair in my face. <laughs> hello, Pam. I'm gonna do our snow in white, or the let it snow words in white to look like snow on there. We will see how it turns out. Is it snowing any, where any of you are at? It's been snowing here all day. Hello, Dawn. I'm getting the edges of my Letters here a little bit messy, but that's all right. This is for me, so I'm not worried about it. If you're trying to paint your kits to sell, then you want to be a little bit more clean about it, but I don't worry about it. So let it snow. I think we'll definitely do a second coat on these. Hello, Roxanne. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Pam. <clears throat> I've been down here cutting and um, sometimes it irritates my lungs. So I apologize for being a little bit coffee today. Hey, Holly, how are you? I just listed some ornaments on the website, some more ornaments. Um, I shared that we did the wood slice ornaments for my subscription box this month, and I had a lot of interest in that, and I have access to different ones because the ones in my subscription box are exclusive to those members, but I have some, some other ones, so I'm working on getting those all cut and listed. All right, so we gotta let it snow done. Now, this should be mostly dry, but not completely dry. This sponge is no good. I'm gonna put that off to the side. I'm gonna take some white paint and I'm gonna kind of wipe it off of here. I'm gonna go along my edges. Just 
just to kind of make it look like there's snow on the tailgate. And you can put as much or as little snow on yours as you want to. I don't know what it is. Maybe I got a defective batch of, of the uh, sponges because these things are shredding like crazy. Thank you, Denise. Hello, Jackie. Welcome. I'm in Michigan, too. You got six inches on Tuesday. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Patty. I'm not the biggest fan of snow. I think it's really pretty if you don't have to leave your house, but it's not... It's not nice when you have to be practical. Um, so I'm not super excited about it. So I don't know if I like that. I think it's a little bit too, too um, stark. So I'm gonna go back through it again and just kind of smear it a little bit more. And then maybe we'll even go back in with some more of the black. I just want it to look like snow. I don't want it to look like a mess. And right now I feel like it just looks like a mess. But it might look better when it's all done. Sometimes you just gotta wait and see it all finished. Once we get those letters on here, it'll probably pull it all together, so. But real snow, we would have a little bit, you know, around the letters too, not just I don't know. I probably messed it all up. It looks snowy and gross right now. Hi, Rosie. Hello, Marsha. I've got let it snow. I don't think I like it. Hold on. We're not done with that part yet. We're going to fix it. I don't love it. So I'm going to go back through here and just clean it up off the middle part. It's a good thing about paint. You can fix it if you don't like it. It's not permanent. Well, kind of, but I mean. I'm just gonna go back through with a little bit of white. North Carolina, hello, hello. All right, let's see if we like it better this way. I like it better this way already. So it's gonna go on here and it's gonna look like it's got snow around the back part of the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that off to the side, let it dry. And we're gonna work on the license plate. I'm gonna do this in white, I believe. For our Frosty the Snowman. And then let's do this little guy with some of our, you know what? I did a light blue, but I think I want to do, one of these blues instead. Let's do, I'm gonna try Laguna, I think, instead. Hi, Judy. Just brightens it up a little bit. And then we'll use, I'll use the same colors on the snowman or at least on one of the snowmen to tie it all together. And this will need a second coat. So I'm gonna set this off to the side a second, but that'll be our license plate, Frosty. Whoops, Frosty. And then we can go ahead and start painting some white onto our snowmen. And then we can work on all their little details. They're gonna be so darling. All right, so we need white. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a brush. And really all that's gonna show on him is gonna be his face and his body. And then she's gonna have just her face showing because she's got an outfit that she's gonna be wearing. I'm not gonna worry too much about covering every little thing. And I try to kind of go in a circular motion so that he looks like he's real. <clears throat> I 
and the direction that our snowman would really be. Oops, I got little snow boogers on there. So there we go, we got him. Hello, Deborah. And then just her face is gonna end up showing. So we're gonna give her a cute little outfit because she's our little lady snowman. That is all that we need done in white. So I'm gonna let this sit to the side a minute. And I'm gonna go back over here to my license plate and do my second coat on the blue. There we go. I'm not gonna worry about making it super white because snow is not super white. It's kind of dirty looking. So we're gonna let that stay just one coat there. We might do a second coat on our snowman. We'll see how those turn out. All right, so for, gotta kind of lay it out again. We'll work on him first. So he's gonna have his little hat and he's got his nose and his little button here, his scarf. So let's move this down. What else is he gonna have? He's got a little bird. We can probably stick a snowflake on there. All right. I'm supposed to be getting my package tomorrow. Awesome, Gil, I can't wait, so exciting. Hi, Jesse. All right, so this is him. I'm gonna move her stuff off to the side and we're gonna work with him. So obviously he's got a hat. We're gonna make that black. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna cover the top part of his hat or the top part of his, sorry, silly 1-800 people constantly calling and bothering me throughout the day. I got really good at blocking them for a while and then I kind of forgot that you can do that. So I'll have to get back online and do that. Or maybe you can do it right from the phone. I don't remember. All right, so there is his little hat now. So that is adorable. We're gonna give him a little bit of snow on top on this part of his hat right here. So I just did a little bit right there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the top part of his hat up here. Just make it look like he's got snow there. And then he's gonna have his nose. So I need some orange, which I have right next to me. I just need a tiny, tiny bit of orange. And for some reason, this orange is really light, so I'll probably do a second coat on it before I'm finished, but there we go, we got that done. Oh, I'm gonna make him have a black button. And then I think I'm gonna tie in the blue into his scarf. So that blue that we used for our um, frosty, the word frosty. We're going to go ahead and use the same blue for his scarf. Can you guys see me over here? There we go. Make sure I'm still on the camera. And I probably will do the same blue on some of my snowflakes, but I want to wait on those. So our little bird is going to be a little cardinal. So we're going to get some red out. Maybe if it'll come out. Oh my goodness, friends. There we go. I'm just gonna paint the whole bird red and then we'll give her a little orange beak here in just a second. Well, I can probably go right around the beak part. There we go. Go back into our orange. Ah, there we go, turned out pretty good. Thank you so much for sprinkling, I super appreciate it. All right, so we'll have our little cardinal there. I'm gonna go ahead and make little black dots for his eyes and his little cool mouth. Um, I can probably do our second coat on our scarf, so let me get that going. Yep, he is going to be so cute. 
Let me get, I like to use the end of a paintbrush. What am I using? Like my, these, these are sponges. How do you know to use a sponge? I just do whatever I feel like doing. You don't, it's not in any certain way. Um, you can use a paintbrush for all of it if you want to. I used to only use paintbrushes and then I started using the sponges and I just like them better because I don't have to go rinse them out because I'm lazy. What are you using to paint? Oh, that's the same question I just read. Yep, they're um, makeup sponges that I use to paint. And literally, I'm telling you the truth when I say I just started using them because I was too lazy to um, clean out my brushes. So I just reuse them endlessly. There's a whole bunch of them in here. And they start out big like this. And then I just keep cutting them down until they're itty bitty things and there's not any clean part left on them. And then I toss them. So they get used quite a bit before I toss them. All right, so we need to let his eyes dry. I think I'm probably gonna give him some polka dots or something on his scarf. He'll have his nose, but I don't wanna put that there yet because that's going to make a mess if I do. And I will probably give him... <gasps> no! You see what I just did? I smeared his eyes. He don't look too bad though. I'm gonna leave it, otherwise I'm gonna make it look worse. Okay, so she's gonna have, we're gonna make her have clothes on. She's got her cute little, we call it collar, I guess. She's gonna have some cute little glasses, her little piece for her hat. She's got a little pom-pom on her hat. There's a heart that we can put on her as like a button if we want to. And then we've got extra snowflakes. So I'm gonna wait to do the snowflakes till the end, like I said previously. So she, he's gonna be done in the blue. What should we do? What color should we do her in? Or we could do her in blue too, I guess. Let's do that. Let's do hers in blue and like purple. Let me find a cute purple. Hold on a second. I'm going to try Velvet Crush. Powder blue for the snowflakes. Yeah, I'm gonna do some of them in blue and some of them in white, I think, just to mix it up a little bit. All right, so for her, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint her. I think I'm gonna paint her blue. Blue with purple lines on her hat. So let's go and do that. I'm gonna grab out a brush for part of this. And I'm going to grab out a different sponge here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do, what did I say? Oh wait, I did it wrong. I said I was gonna do it in blue. And then I grabbed the wrong sponge. Okay. Here we go. So because I'm using this blue, it does need a second coat on it, which is fine. Um, so we'll just have to do a second coat in a bit. We'll go ahead and get her started though. Give her time to dry, work on her extra pieces. Okay, so then she'll have her little collar piece here. Oops, I went above her face. I'm gonna have to fix that or we can yeah, we're gonna have to fix it, otherwise she's gonna look funny. That's all right, we'll fix it with some white. I'm gonna make this part purple. So I'm gonna alternate the purple and blue together. I think it'll be pretty when it's all done. I could have done pink and blue or pink and purple, whatever colors you wanna do. So that'll be her little piece there. And then her hat is gonna be blue again. And this part is gonna be blue and purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint it just blue to start with. We'll get the blue on there and then we'll go ahead and we'll do the purple um, lines in a minute for her. But this part, we can probably go ahead and do our second coat on.
I should have plugged in my little heat gun so I could dry it as we go, but that's all right. We're doing good on time, so we're fine. Okay, so now we've got her done. I don't think, well, we probably do need a second coat on here. Grab the wrong one. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and give my purple a second coat on here on her little collar. All right. Her little palm is going to be white, not purple. So we got to get some white on that. And let that dry so we can do a second coat on it. Hello, Ida. Hi, Pam. What else do I want to do here? So we're waiting on his face to dry so I can finish putting him together because he's got the little dots. It takes a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some glue though. Hi, Annette. And we can start putting together what we can with this while we wait on other pieces to dry. So we got his hat. And if you buy these kits, like I said, they can be interchangeable. I use Velcro on mine to make them interchangeable because there's a ton of different options and then you can use the truck for different seasons and things. Or if you choose to make them permanent, which I've done with some of mine, you can glue them to the right to the truck and they can be permanent. So different options for you. Go ahead and stick our little cardinal up there. I gotta stick his nose on still, but I don't wanna smear any more of that paint. And there is little spot right here that didn't get painted white there we go so there's what he looks like so far i can give him his button too we're not waiting on anything on that to dry so there's his little button all right i'm just kind of waiting to see if i like her blue or if i'm going to need another coat of it i think we're good on that part at least what I'm going to do is take some purple here with a brush and I'm going to do every other one of these pieces on her hat in purple. And we'll probably do a second coat on the hat part as well. So we've got her little collar. I will have to fix her face. I went too low with her, too high, I guess, with the blue for her face. I'm gonna come back in here and try to cover that up, which might take a couple of coats, which is fine. But it will cover. You can't ruin it. Let that dry and we'll give her a second coat. So for her glasses, I think I'm probably gonna do purple for her glasses. I don't feel like she's got too much purple. I feel like she's got more blue than purple. So we're gonna make her glasses purple to go with her outfit. Hello, oh, let's see here. I've missed a few of you. Hi, Amber, hello, Roxanne. All right, so there we go with that. Guys, these are gonna be so cute. I stuck my white one in blue. Hi, Bonnie. Hello, Amy. Just putting our second coat of white on there. Definitely going to want a second coat of purple on the um, part of the hat that we just did. As it's drying, I see that it's kind of see-through. So we'll definitely do another coat there. Good on our little snowman face or snow lady face. Let's go back and where'd my purple go? Here we go. And do this. Hi, Jennifer. And we'll add some details too. We're not done after this, but just getting the main parts finished. Do some more purple on her glasses. 
All right, so we got him all buttoned down, right? <coughs> Not buttoned, glued. I was looking at his button as I said that. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Robin. I see lots of new faces doing a different day and different time. I like to see new people. That's exciting. All right, so we're good. I'm good with him now. I am going to go in and do some white polka dots on his scarf because I think that will be cute. It'll add something to him. And again, I just like to use the end of my paintbrush. I usually get two or three dots before I have to reload it. I'm running out of paint though. Hi, Cindy, Illinois, welcome. Hi, Teresa. Those dots got a little bit big. I didn't mean for that to happen, but that's, it's all right. Okay, so we're good on him. Now I can be super extra here. Maybe we'll try it and give him some white pieces on the ends of his. So I'm gonna do every other piece of his scarf white. The little fringe, just adding details, guys. It just brings it to life to add just a few little fun details. Um, oops, I forgot all about her little heart. We should do that purple too. Let me get some purple out. Okay. Now, I'm gonna start gluing some parts together here. Hello, Teresa's in Georgia, welcome. It's snowing here today. That's why I decided to do a snowy project. I thought it would be fun. Okay, let's see if I fixed this. I think that I did pretty darn good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. One little spot of white sticking out underneath here where I will go back in and try to cover up with the blue. But other than that, Michigan, Susan, welcome. I am in Michigan as well. Do you have snow today where you're at? Hi, Carol. Give her her little heart button here. She's going to need her little black, oops, black little eyeballs here. Let me try and do that. And her glasses, oh, I didn't glue them down. I thought I glued them down. I didn't glue them down yet, so we're good. I was gonna say her glasses ended up glued on crooked. I am in West Michigan, so I am um, probably like a half an hour-ish from Grand Rapids area. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, now, so she's got some detail on her hat, so the hat is good, but I'm thinking she needs some more detail on this part of her. She does, and we'll, we'll give her some more detail here in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and paint some snowflakes. So I'm gonna do, let me see where I wanna place them though. So we've got one snowflake here, a little snowflake that can go on him. Maybe we put a big one between the two of them, and then I could do a snowflake. On her. No. Let's stick a snowflake over here on him because we want to be able to put it into the truck still, too. So if I do this, I'm going to do his snowflakes white, maybe. Mm, I don't know. I'm just going to randomly paint the snowflakes. Whatever color they end up is what they end up. Your granddaughter lives there. Awesome. Hi, Brandy. Carol is in California. Awesome. No snow there, I hope. All right, so we got this giant 
white one, I'm gonna put that one down there, I think. I think I'm gonna do the little one up here in white as well. Maybe I'll just do all of them white. I can do some blue on them too though. I've got an idea, something I haven't done yet, but we're gonna try it. All right, we're gonna let this dry just a quick second. Hi, Stacy. All right, so I'm gonna go back over them all, do them all in white again. Then I'm gonna grab some blue and I'm gonna try and just do like the tips, kind of maybe an ombre-ish look like I do on some of my pieces. I haven't done it with snowflakes yet, so we'll see if it works. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab my blue. And do like that, isn't that so cute? I love it. All right, so I'm just taking the blue and just kind of dabbing it along the edges of the snowflake while it's still kind of wet so that it's not super, it blends. And it's not super stark then color difference because it's blending a little bit. And then you don't have just a solid line either going down into it. These kits are available on my website, dizzydesigner.com. Um, they go with the 12-inch truck sitters and hangers, and I can show you them on the truck. I will show you them on the truck here in just a minute. Ooh, we got a big old paint booger on there. All right. All right, so now I just gotta wait for them to dry up a little bit, but we're gonna go back over here while we wait on that and get our letters put down on our license plate. Or this isn't the license plate, this one's the tailgate, but we'll get our license plate done next. So it says, let it snow. the back part and then we've got our license plate that says frosty see how we used I used the same colors all over the truck and just kind of moved them around This one in between them. Kind of up here. This one I'm gonna put right on top of him. Can I I'm not even in the camera, am I? I am so sorry, friends. Do 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 back here. Sorry about that. I'm gonna stick this right on top of his little piece there. So he's still got some dots that are drying. He's not completely dry and we can still go in and do more detail. But just to show you, for everybody that's just hopping on here, the inserts go to these trucks and you can get the truck in either a shelf sitter or in a door hanger option. And then they have all these different interchangeable pieces. So here's what our piece looks like. I do want to give her some more detail. I feel like she looks super plain compared to our cute little snowman guy should we give her polka dots on her hat i could do polka dots on her hat and polka dots on her little piece right here let's try it and see doop, doop. running out of light I would have thought about it, I would have done this first so that way some of them went underneath the hat part, but I didn't think about it, so I'm just 
just doing the best we can to kind of make them look like they're actually on the hat and not flat on the hat, if that makes sense. Make them look like they're dimensional. Okay, so I kind of like it better that way. And it pulls them together too. My website is uh, www.dizzydesigner.com and I can share that link with you when I get off of here. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some white in between the lines here. Of her hat. Maybe some around the hat just to kind of outline it. She don't have to be perfect, just kind of go around there. I'm gonna do the same thing on this part of her hat like we did with his. He's got the snow on top of his hat. I didn't really make it to look like hers was snow, it wasn't the intention, it's just kind of outlining it. Um, give her a little bit of an outline around her body over here maybe. And I think that's probably about it. Um, just looking at them to see if there's anything else I want to do. But I think I'm done with them. I think they turned out super adorable. So there's that. Where are we at for time? 4.34 my time. So we've got about 10 minutes left until the next presenter is live. Let me show you again one more time. Here's our project from today for our truck. So this is the Let It Snow inserts. And then I told you guys I had another project sitting here that I wanted to do for myself. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll just do this and answer any questions that you have. Did I paint her nose? She actually doesn't have a nose on hers. He has a nose, she doesn't have a nose with it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this little ornament. So I cut this for my own Christmas tree. We got married this summer. So it says Mary and married and I love cows. So it's little cows. Let's see if I can figure out how it went together again here. So these guys have their little horns here. Uh oh, I think I'm missing one of their horns. I probably am because it's been sitting on my desk forever and I've been meaning to paint it and I haven't painted it. So that's my problem. I'll just have to do it without the horn, I guess, without the 3D part of it. Mm -hmm. Why am I having such a hard time putting these together? There's our hat. And then we got our little lady. We'll have a necklace. He'll have his little bow tie. They got their little faces. Oh, she's got her little hair piece up here. Hmm. That's why, because I'm trying to give it to them as their bottom part of their hair, but it doesn't. It goes up here. There we go. Little moo cow, here we go. And then his hat will go up here. And I'm going to have to find my my missing piece, but this is what these guys all look like. It's just a cute little ornament for my Christmas tree. Hello, Susan. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Jean. So let's do, I don't even know how I want to paint them. I don't know what colors. I want her to have pink, I think. I'm going to give him a black hat. I should have thought this one through. Hello, Irene. Hello, Alyssa. All right, so let me find some pink that I like. I'm gonna do bright magenta just so I don't have to do a bunch of different coats. And I'm just gonna do her little beads here, her necklace, which looks like pearls, so it could have been done in white, but ours are pink, so there we go. Cute little necklace. And we've got his bow tie is gonna be done in black to go with his hat. And 
And I gotta think of how I want their color scheme to go. So we're gonna have like, those words are teeny tiny. I'm gonna have to try to fill them in with paint with my little handwriting. So she's got, where'd her little piece go for her hair? Here it is, she's got little flowers. So I'm gonna do those in different colors of pink. I'm gonna do her magenta color again for most of them. So the two end flowers, I think, and then the little one in the middle, I'll do a lighter color just to give it some contrast. If you guys like this kind of stuff, I do have a uh, workshop coming up. It's going to go on sale next week, and it's going to be a three-day paint workshop online. Uh, I'll mail the kit out to you with everything that you need, and then we'll meet up three days um, in a row to paint our kits together if you want to do that. go so I just give her just a little tiny bit of a different color there all right now this is the part where I'm confused on what colors I want to do for them because I want them to be contrasting so I want to have like a tan color a light tan color and then maybe these two colors will look good but I don't really know how I want them to be if I want the dark I guess I could do one darker one lighter so we'll do there's no way I'm finishing this with you guys live. What time are we at? We got five minutes left till the next presenter's live. So I'm probably not gonna finish it with you guys live, but I'll go ahead and post some pictures in the group later for you once I get it all done. Like I said, it was just kind of to fill in if we had time so that I don't leave you guys hanging before the next presenter's turn. So let's do him. He's gonna have darker hair and a lighter body. But I still have to do this part back here too. See, I don't know. Maybe I need a third color to go on these. What do you guys think? Do we need a third color? The sponge is no good. Do it like this. I think this is gonna be good. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in his whole body in this color. The nose will be in the darker color too. They've got their little nose pieces here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't even know what, color, what one I'm using anymore. What sponge for where? Hi Cheryl, hello Tammy. All right, so he'll have the darker nose and the darker hair. And then for her, I'll do the opposite. I'm gonna do her the darker skin. So we're gonna paint her whole body here. Oh, I gotta fix the rest of his hair didn't get colored right. That's okay. We're learning as we go. And I did just pick up my um, white sponge. So this is going right on top of the white that was already on the sponge. So it's not the exact color that I have on my um, palette that I'm using, but that's good because it gives her dimension. All right, see how I did that, all that color. And then what I'll do is take the lighter color for her and I'll do her hair and her, her nose. So they're gonna be opposites. They're gonna look the same, but they're gonna contrast a little bit. Are you using paint to color them? Yes, I am using paint to color them. Just acrylic paint. So we'll have her little hair piece here, see if we can fit it together. 
and I'll end up making that stick out a little bit too. Got his little bow tie here. And then this will go across. I gotta find the other earpiece or maybe I won't make them 3D, but look at how cute those are. Aren't they adorable? All right, guys, the next presenter should be live in just about two seconds. Um, so let me show you our actual project that we did for the night. If you're just hopping on here, we did the inserts for the truck, let it snow on the back, and then Frosty for the license plate. Look how cute our little snowmen are. So if you are just hopping on, make sure you watch the replay and stick around for the next presenter. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye, everybody.